from Leelawati Hospital on the occasion of World Kidney Day. I am Dr. L. H. Suratkal, Senior Nephrologist from Leelawati Hospital. World Kidney Day is celebrated on the second Thursday of March every year. This is done in order to highlight the importance of the kidneys in your day-to-day -day life and to uh, highlight the fact that the, there is an increase in the incidence of kidney diseases and that kidney diseases are generally preventable and to show you the ways of preventing kidney disease. The kidneys are important organs and they take care of your day-to-day -day activities. We all know that the kidneys are organs of excretion and they excrete waste matter like urea and creatinine. They also excrete toxins and drugs that may get into the body. They are helpful in balancing the fluids and solutes in the body. Solutes like sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus and magnesium are kept very tight control by the kidneys. They also manage to do the acid balance in the body. The kidneys also secrete hormones and these hormones control the blood pressure. They control the hemoglobin in the body and also the bone health. Now the kidneys can fail acutely. There can be a sudden disruption of the kidney function and this is called as acute kidney injury. But this is generally reversal. We are more concerned about the chronic kidney disease which happens slowly and is progressive and can end stage renal disease which requires dialysis and transplantation which can be a costly procedure. Kidney diseases are on the increase and these are due to several chronic uh, diseases, non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, heart diseases and obesity. All these are preventable. Diabetes is the scourge of the modern era and India has the dubious distinction of being the diabetic capital of the world. More than 60% of the cases of end-stage renal disease are due to diabetes and therefore kidney diseases are preventable. The eight golden rules of prevention are one is that you should drink enough fluids and hydrate yourself but this can only prevent urinary tract infection and stone disease. Rest of the disease are due to metabolic conditions. These need early screening, especially in high risk patients and those who have a family history of uh, kidney problems or diabetes or hypertension. You have to control your blood pressure in case you have these diseases or control your blood sugars very tightly. You have to maintain a good health, reducing your BMI or your weight, keep your weight under control. You have to have a healthy diet, decrease both carbohydrates and proteins. There are some young patients who excessive exercise and they have a lot of proteins and end up with renal failure. The other factors that you have to take into account is avoidance of smoking. You have to avoid smoking and also have alcohol in moderation. The other important factor is that you should avoid over-the-counter drugs like painkillers or indigenous medicines which contain heavy metals. So the control of your destiny is in your hands. Please take care.